Okay. I say that way too much. Anyway, I'm cutting the uh, Reflectix for those three windows that I didn't cover because I was in a hurry. I've got uh, panels over here drying to finish up the doors. You see some of the finished doors are over there. So I've got so many things going on at once, I can hardly keep up. But I'm going to get all this reflective cut and uh, get that stalled. And I'm going to put some half inch foam on top of this, which will be behind the cabinets. And that'll help a little bit more too. And then once I get the driver's side done, I switch over to the passenger side and pull those cabinets. And I've got to get some U-channel to go up there so I can take uh, these in and out pretty easily. So I can have, you know, I can look out when I want to. All right, keep checking back. I got lots more to do. Okay. There I did. There I go. Set it again. Well, got this side in. And as you can see, this window still needs to be covered. And I took that covering off just so I could get the radius for these corners. If I put my hand here, it's in the direct sun right now. It's slightly warm. Put my hand here. And it's just about twice as hot, if not more even with this tint on here. Plus you can see the light coming in. So now I'm gonna come back with some half inch foam and put it here and seal it around these edges. Because I'm never gonna be seeing these windows again because they're behind the top cabinet. Let's see if I can get away here. And they're behind this top cabinet so I'll never see them again anyway. And they don't open so I'm covering them up. I didn't cover them up when I built this originally because I was in such a hurry. Last year I was in a hurry to get to Texas. I was in a hurry to get to Arizona. Then I was a hurry, in a hurry to get back to Bloomington. So now I've got two months to uh, slow down a little bit and get this stuff done. But everything I've done in here is just bolted to the rails down there bolted to the metal up here so it's just a matter of unbolting it and bolting it back in place I'm gonna be doing some more lightning up I'm gonna take a lot out of this end over here because it butts up against this wall so there's lots of places I can save a little weight which I'm going to I'm gonna open up the top of this because it has a, a false top on it. it goes across all the way so that'll save a little bit of weight and every little bit I can get I'm going to take, if I get out 10 pounds, I can put another roll of vinyl in here. All right, it's starting to warm up today. It's going to be pretty warm, so I'm going to get this thing going. As soon as I get this one in and put that one back in, I'm going to go head over to uh, Home Depot, which is two miles down the road. In Texas, it was an hour's drive one way. So, I'm going to get the things I need. I need some more one by twos because I'm redoing this countertop, redoing this utility holder. Um, what else am I doing? All kinds of stuff. I'll take you along with me as I do it. So check back in. Reflectix is in. Now I'm cutting some half inch foam just for a little more heat protection behind the cabinets get this and I also made a pattern of the corners which should go right in here and trim those corners down then I'll use some Super 77 and probably some Gorilla Tape and some silicone to keep it all in first window is complete a little dark in here, but I uh, used Super 7 on the back side. I sprayed the Reflectix and the back of this half inch foam. Then I came around with Gorilla Tape just to seal the edges around there. And 
it's nice and solid. Okay, now this is lukewarm, where this is warm, about twice as warm. So immediately, it's kept all that heat out. And the sun is right on this side. So, yeah, that's nice and warm. This is actually cool. The ceiling is warmer than that window. So I've got those two windows and I got a window back here. I've got to do. And that's going to be fun because it comes all the way across here. So I'm not taking this out. I'm going to take that piece out, I think. And put it back in. But that's after I get this lightened up and back in place. And not clear coated. I'll wait and do all the clear coating when everything's back in place. Alright, getting there.